welcome in our women's hockey analyst, Madison Bess. And Madison, huge win for the Big Red yesterday. What was the key for them getting it done? All three of their goals came from freshmen, which is huge. And Paul Voorhees had an incredible 31 save performance, like you said. And just right from the faceoff, the players were at it. They attempted eight shots in just the first six minutes of the game. So that was really huge for them. They just were playing hard right from the start. Hi, I'm Madison Best. Thanks for joining. I'm here outside the home of number 29, third baseman for the New York Yankees, Todd Frazier. <laughs> So this is kind of a broad question, but just a curiosity. What's your favorite part of the game? My favorite part, I, I think, is before the game. I always go out like a half hour before stretch, and I see little kids and their smiles on their faces, and I think about it, man. Is, it, is this their first time coming to watch, you know, a baseball game? How'd they get it done? You know, they just went out there and they did what they had to do. Kristen O'Neill, one of the freshman superstars, scored on a penalty shot in the third period, and that put them in the lead in that first game. And then Voorhees had an awesome couple of games. The second game against Colgate actually resulted in her ninth career shutout. She actually stopped 60 of 61 shots in the course of two games, which is extremely, extremely impressive. Uh, what are you looking to improve on heading into today's championship game? I would want that defense to stay strong. I mean, the offense is there, and this game ended yesterday with a, with a score of three to one. However, scoring more goals could also help the Big Red, but I think that that defense is a little bit, a little bit more behind than the offense. I think they could be a little bit stronger there. There are fewer third basemen in the Hall of Fame than there are out of any other position. So I guess what's the hardest part of being a third baseman in your opinion, and how is it different from any other position? That's just, it's just something I guess that's going on in baseball. Uh, maybe they're looking for a few different things from third baseman, but you're known for hitting home runs. I think that's a corner outfields and quarter infields. Uh, you got to be quick because for me, you got one step and you got to get that ball. It's the, they call it the hot corner for a reason. Talked about Scott Rowland. He's got a really good shot to getting there, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We just got to keep playing hard. There's a bunch of really good third basemen out there right now that are, you know, hopefully in 10, 15 years when they're done playing, they're going to get a shot to get in the Hall of Fame. So you're an incredibly strong family man, very humble. So can you talk to me a little bit about Frazier baseball and what that means to you and kind of what, what it really is? Yeah, family's everything for me. Um, I got two older brothers, like I said. We, we, they both have two different divisions that they do, Frazier baseball and Frazier downtown. And they're both great athletes. They love the game of baseball. We love the game of baseball. We try and help out as many young boys and girls as possible to enjoy the game and don't worry about the outcome. I, I think nowadays younger kids are worried about outcomes more than enjoying it and trying to get something else out of it. And uh, that's what we try and instill on these guys today. The Cornell University hockey team had some standout defensemen in their exhibition game against Brock University. Head coach Mike Schaefer says in order to be a defenseman, you need to be quick and intelligent. Be smart and knowing how to stay on the defensive side of, of, of players. And um, it's the toughest position to transition into college. Uh, hockey uh, by by far and more than goalie more more than forwards because you make a simple little mistake at this level you know people capitalize sophomore matt metal number five scored his first goal of the season and the big red sixth of the game in the third period schaefer says one of the things he likes coming from metal is that he gets the puck down to the net uh, offensively he's, he shoots the puck well i think all our defense we look to make how many shots got through from our point holden anderson matt metal brennan smith you know, they, they get pucks down the net, great offense. Nuttall says the big thing they do as defensemen is get the puck going in place. Get the puck in our forwards' hands, so the quicker you can do that, the better you are at it. So something we try and do is, is a whole D, uh, uh, D corps back there. Well, we had a little slow start tonight, but we came out strong in the final two periods, so we're excited to get going at Merrimack next weekend. against Brock University. Both Matt Nettle and Holden Anderson, two defensemen, scored goals contributing to Cornell's win tonight. For Big Red Faceoff, I'm Madison Bess, ICTV. What makes the Saints such a tough matchup for the Big Red? So Coach Dara said that they were a little bit hesitant in that tie game. It's a tough opponent because St. Lawrence has a really strong offense. You've got Brooke Webster has 56 points. Then you have Kennedy Marchman who has 55. And then from Cornell, Hannah Button has the most points with 28 points, which is the highest for them. So they're going to have to play the way that they have been playing, but that offense is going to just have to stay really strong in order for them to win these games coming up against St. Lawrence.